Hey everybody, Matt Johnson here with another COVID-19 legal update. So we have all been hearing about and seeing the news stories on the TV with vaccines now being administered to uh, various individuals, mostly healthcare workers, older folks, things like that. And I, for one, am very happy to hear that. The other thing that has been happening is I've been getting questions about can I require my employees to get a vaccine? And the answer is yes, you can. However, the Equal, Opportunity, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission does have a few rules about that, and largely they revolve around questions of whether or not the employer or, the, or a medical professional is administering the vaccine. An employer can administer the vaccine, assuming they can get their hands on it, and the employer should not, I repeat, should not be asking people uh, a series of questions that could relate to questions of their medical abilities, um, information. There is the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, the GINA Act, which also is implicated. So if you are an employer and you're going to be administering the vaccine, First of all, congratulations for getting your hands on the vaccine. Kudos to you. But if you're going to be doing it, you need to make sure that you are complying with the laws. And the EEOC has put together a series of Q&A, like they have been all throughout this COVID, that discusses what an employer can and cannot do. But one of the questions that I've been getting, and I've been getting a lot of these questions, is can I require my employees to get a COVID-19 vaccine, and if they don't, can I exclude them from the workplace? The answer to the first question is yes, you can require your employees to get a COVID-19 vaccine, particularly if they're going to be customer-facing, they're going to be engaging with the public, that's probably a good safety step, step to take. You can also do it if you are in a workplace that requires close proximity with other employees, that also makes sense. So you can require them to get a COVID-19 vaccine, and you can require proof that they have received it. However, uh, not everybody is willing to get it, and so you may be in a situation where you can legitimately exclude somebody from the workplace, and that may require an accommodation under the Americans with Disabilities Act or under some other state law non-discrimination act. So you may have to think about that before you start excluding people from the workplace. So if you are uh, having employees who are refusing to get a vaccine once the vaccine becomes a little bit more readily available to the general public, then you are going to want to consult with an attorney before, and I repeat and stress this, before you start making decisions about excluding people from the workplace and even more importantly, before you start making decisions about terminating employment or making job changes of any kind. So before you start to make those decisions, that's a good time to consult counsel and make sure that you are going to be complying with the law and not inadvertently stepping over some law in a desire to accommodate employees. So um, I want to wrap up with something that's pretty positive. Uh, the vaccine is now being distributed. And I would like people to remember that a year ago, we barely heard of the coronavirus. We barely heard of COVID-19, didn't even know what it was. We we're hearing some stories out of, out of China and things like that, and people were starting to get worried, but not overly so. In less than a year, ladies and gentlemen, we have created, tested, developed, distributed, and have started administering a vaccine for a disease that we barely knew about a year ago, or virus, I suppose. That's something to take a great deal of heart in. And whether your political persuasion or not is, is, is irrelevant at this point. We have developed a vaccine that's been tested, that's been approved, and is being distributed in less than a year. That's never happened before in human history. So take some solace in that. It is fantastic news. And whether you're concerned about the vaccine or not, the fact that it's been developed and approved in less than a year is something that we should immediately take heart in. The human mind and the human ingenuity is almost without bounds, and I can't wait to see what happens next. In the meantime, please keep your head up, be safe, um, make your own decisions when it comes to the vaccine, but respect the others who are out there.
In the meantime, I hope everybody has a safe and happy new year, and I look forward to seeing people in the new year. Bye-bye.